English 318 Conversation Spectacular, where my awesome students at Pusan University of Foreign Students uh, lead discussions on a variety of topics. Our first topic today is about homeschooling and education alternatives, hosted by Jong Hyun and Unji. So I will turn it over to them to tell us to introduce themselves and tell us a little bit about your topic. Um, welcome to our show. <laughs> they are gonna um, talk about um, that homeschooling, and we we are gonna often talk about homeschooling as well. So my um, I am Unji, and my partner me Jonghyun. <laughs> so we're gonna talk about, uh, talk about uh, homeschooling. So at first, she's gonna tell about his, her article on posting. Um, homeschooling is about now becoming very popular with growth rate, growth rate of seven to uh, seven to fifteen percent per year. So there are about two million two million children who are currently learning learning at their home and in, in states, not Korea. Also, homeschool kids do well on their stand, standardized tests are, and welcome at universities and as a result have a good rep reputation for being self-directed learners and re reliable employees. And there is many aspects of um, homeschooling. Um, as you can see my blog, Mm, sorry. Um, who who did homeschool children feel have, have very happiness with their life, and life feel life is exciting and very say they are very satisfied with their work, <coughs> and they participate in community service very well, and they feel. Mm, politics and governments are too difficult to understand. And there is many good aspects of homeschooling. And we just gonna talk about many aspects of homeschooling. And mm, and you will introduce about homeschooling more um, <laughs> to your more information. Yep, um, I'm gonna show my. Uh, my on my blog, uh, I posted about homeschooling, and I searched about homeschooling. And in the article, um, many people choose homeschooling because of their children has not a specific dream, or um, they don't get what they want, so they just choose to homeschool. Uh, to get themselves to learn how to learn. So whatever they want to learn, they can just choose it and then uh, find some materials from on the internet or some else like program. So um, the the most difficult uh, different thing from public education system is the children can choose themselves. What they want to learn. Um, for example, like acting musician, as you know, they had uh, homeschool experience. So well, I remember, uh, we have people who were not in class with us. So when you say acting musicians, you know, perhaps people who are listening to this don't know who they are. Who are they? Uh, okay, um, acting musician is from they were they um, they've been. In, uh, Singer from which competing program in Korea. So uh, in that program, they can compete each other, and then they can won the first um, first singer. Oh, no. um, after that, they um, they were uh, after they got the interview. And while they interviewed, they said like they had um, homeschool experience, and they about really helped what they were creative. So I think that homeschooling is 
the way the children can make themselves really creative. So it makes me uh, interested in homeschooling. Yeah, right now. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt you again. Your connection is kind of going in and out, and sometimes your audio is very choppy and it's hard to hear you. Um, <laughs> if we can go back to Jung Hyun, perhaps, and Unji, if, if there's any okay. place you can go with a stronger connection, maybe okay, try I'll, a different I'll location. Um, I want to ask you guys, and do you know about homeschooling or? Do you know what is homeschooling? If you have any information about that, no. Um, and I, I just uh, I just want to encourage Sungji to kind of speak up if you're interested, Sungji, because I know you have some uh, first-hand experience. Oh, okay. So oh, where is <coughs> this? Is it just connected? Uh, Unji, I'm going to mute you because we're hearing your stuff. Sungji, <laughs> you are unmuted, so go ahead and uh, chime in. Um, so, uh, what was your question again? Um, me? For uh, me? I think Jung yeah, yeah, yeah. What was the question? Uh, do you know what is the homeschooling or do you have information about that? No? Um, Did you hear it? Homeschooling um, would probably mean mm -hmm. like studying schooling in inside their house, mm -hmm. not going to a private or mm -hmm. public school, but mm -hmm. studying, you know, inside your house. Mm -hmm. And mostly mm -hmm. um, the teachers are your parents, so mm -hmm. it's very different from um, other other students' study. Mm -hmm. uh, homeschooling is, um, uh, you're right, um, the education of children at home and um, the practice is legal in most countries but the extent to which it is practiced varies. With, within Europe, for example, in the Netherlands, parents have a duty to send their children to the school and Germany also. Um, Germany also forbade the forbade uh, forbid homeschooling until recent recent decisions were this uh, con contrary contrary to human rights legislation. And so there is many um, kind of in Korea. You are we are not used to homeschooling, but so we find the many information of U.S. in the states. So. I'll introduce some um, positive thing, aspects and negative things. And the positive things are educational freedom, physical freedom, emotional freedom, religious freedom, closer family relationships, and stability during difficult times, and well rested case and no busy work. And there is some negative aspects of time red uh, are there and time res resistance and financial resistance and being with your kids 24-7, limited team sports and living outside the norm. And the norm means standards, standards of um, intelli intelligence de de development. So I want to ask you some, why would you think about advantages or disadvantages of homeschooling rather than the school? Have you ever think about that? I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> I thought that homeschooling mm -hmm. has a lot of disadvantage mm -hmm. because right. they can't they can't estimate their score mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. they didn't test <coughs> compare mm -hmm. with other students, and mm -hmm. then they maybe they. They don't know how to make a friends because mm. they study just alone in your in their home. Mm -hmm. That's why there's a two reason. There's a two mm -hmm. disadvantage about mm -hmm. homeschooling. Society mm -hmm. society 
society, social, social, social ability. ability, and social ability, and uh, the study, study abil ability. Mm. Um, How could I, they fix? Uh, I found the statistics about that. Um, Seventy-one percent of home educated person participate in community service rather than um, normal people in state in the state. No more people who who got education of school. School was school percent was sixteen percent, just sixteen percent to participate in community service and community organization like that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and also this <coughs> On ninety, uh, eighty-eight per like. <coughs> oh, go on. Sorry. Are you there? You can go on. So, um, most of the the most of them who are who are homeschool homeschooled uh, agree that um, homeschooling is. Homeschooling don't limit educational opportunities and career choices, and on, on any kind of work walls. Um, any kind of uh, they think that uh, homeschooling is good for also community, community, communicate, community, community. And do you, um, there is statistics about that in my blog. Just check that, please. Mm. Okay, you got it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. About also, we can just uh, mm -hmm. let our children going out and outing, so we can get other community uh, from like um, from everywhere. Like you can meet friends. Not a, not in the public uh, public school, but you can just meet them outside. Like when, uh, for example, you wanna learn a piano, then you can go to piano academy. Then you can meet other children. Like they really want to uh, know about music, and and, um, and we have a lot of uh, homeschooling groups, so. Parents can mix their ideas up with themselves, so it's not really that uh, big problem, I think. I'm curious, do you two wish that you had been homeschooled, and uh, would you consider homeschooling your own children? Um, first, I, I didn't <clears throat> agree with that, but after researching about some more information, um, I strongly have the concept of um, a concept that um, I will I would I would do homeschool my my children if I have enough enough um, enough economic economic budgets or that if I have. Yeah, really, me too. Like, um, I really hope I were in home. It takes many. It takes many it takes expenses many. of of homeschooling research. I, I have a follow up question. I just want to mention, mm -hmm. Tung Han. I'm worried about your data. You might want to mute your video for now until your segment. Uh, uh, it's okay. I, I actually I don't care of my data, but my connection is not very good, so it's, Are you it's on okay. Wi-Fi now, or you're still on data? Still on data. It's it's okay. Okay, if you've still got enough data, I, I don't want you to die in the middle of your segment. Um, <laughs> in one of your posts, uh, Jung Hyun, you mentioned um, you know that part of educational alternatives are not just homeschooling where the parent mm -hmm. educates the child, but there's an increasing amount of online education mm -hmm. and virtual high schools and things like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. uh, what what did you learn about that? What do you think about those possibilities? 
Um, Okay, for me, like, uh, it has really cost a lot for a uh, programmer online. <coughs> but I think um, my thoughts we really need to find on the internet and uh, from other family who had uh, homeschooling. So um, I didn't know uh, before I did in church, I searched about homeschooling. I didn't know about the material from internet or program about that, but it costs a lot. So I think it doesn't matter what if they want to get the program, then they can just get it. But for me, um, for me, I don't think it is necessary to uh, get any education system. So um, um, if it is that cost that much, then I don't. Think it is needed. Um, for me, I think that um, homeschooling most uh, homeschooling's most advantage was homeschooling is um, respect their, their children to have many opportunities to get their interest um, about the choices to study and learn what they want. And that is important for important for homeschooling children. So what they want when they, when they want and what they want. This is focus on that I think. So All right. Well, we're you. we're already twenty minutes in, uh, and I don't want to keep people waiting too long. Any other information you want to share or questions okay. you have? And to have questions, two questions for you guys. Okay. Um, like, do you have ever think about your dream, or um, what is my goal for my life, or what is your happiness from? Where it is from? Do you have ever have you ever think about that? I want to share about that. Um, because I thought about uh, public public education system, um, because of that uh, fifth, sixth um, part of the academic education system, we cannot get our exact dream, or we cannot creative, or um, actually for me, I have. Uh, Dream like, like everyone can be happy from themselves, but um, my parents and my um, environment uh, make me like to fit in that the society system. So, have you ever thought about that? I'm not sure we understand the question. Uh, <laughs> um, I think we need to pass it then. <laughs> um, you you prepared two questions, and I I posted both questions for you. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt. We have a question from the chat room from a Grace Lee. Uh, she mm -hmm. asks, "Is there a specific fixed curriculum for homeschooling?" Great question. Mm, uh, there are several things, but yeah. as I as I know, there is no specific curriculum. But um, for parents or for students, they just they they. They schedule their own lear learning plan themselves, and if you mm, they got homeschooling when they have any specific art ethic or, uh, ethic ethic or um, arty, article article talents, and they got homeschooling. So 
there there is no fixed fixed schedule of homeschooling. If they want to do, they want to learn, if they want to learn violin, flute, piano, they just put inside put their lecture inside of their curriculum. But like, if if a homeschooled person wants to go to a university. Do they have to either take an entrance exam like the Sunung, or do they have to take a kind of an equivalency exam to show that they mastered a certain amount in, of curriculum? In Korea, I have cases on in Korea. Every April, April and August, they, there is an exam like as graduating middle school or high school and they if they <clears throat> if they pass the test and they got the same qualification to enter the university and cover letter like um, introducing themselves and these days homeschooling homeschooling children are very welcome at university nowadays all right uh, any final thoughts? For me, I thought like, we need to uh, give choices for our children to get um, get our children get to choose any possibility of education. I think at first, that's my uh, conclusion. All right, any final thoughts, Jung Hyun? Um, um, I think that there is many negatives uh, negatives of negatives of homeschooling, but many people who got homeschooled is homeschooling are satisfied with their curriculums and most of them are are good good social abilities and um, they are they're very glad to, they are they they are very glad to, glad that they were homeschooled. Um, I'm willing to homeschool my children as well as poss possible. Mm. Right. My personal I opinion, I would love to see. Kind of I'm sorry, I would love to see kind of a mix. I mean, I think this current system of mix? wake up too early and go to this building and sit in chairs all day long and learn this particular topic at this particular time is crazy. I don't think that's mm -hmm. how people learn best. Mm -hmm. I think there's value to getting together with people your age and especially learning things that pe people are also interested in, the same things as you. So I could see a, a, a reason for the, the community function of a, a public school some learning going on at home with parents and some learning going on online. So maybe some combination. Oh. So stay tuned for Lebo High School. <laughs> <laughs> you can send your kids there. What a good idea. <laughs> uh, I will thank you very much ladies for getting our spectacular off to a nice start tonight. Uh, we have well, we are Ahyun got in very good Ahyun. Oh, um, so difficult. <laughs> glad you made it. And for those who are listening, I'm thinking since we only have two more segments, we may have a post-show chat uh, tonight. Since I don't think we'll go as late as last night, so if anybody wants to get in later and share comments about any of tonight's topics or last night's topics or Saturday's topics, that might be possible. For now, uh, let us move on to Songji and Chang Han, who have a very interesting topic to discuss. Can you please introduce yourselves and your topic? Yeah, uh, we are going to talk about public behavior. Before we start, uh, we are going to introduce ourselves. My name is Yun Chang Han, and my major is <coughs> Vietnam and Song Ji. Hi, everyone. My name is um, Song Ji, and my major is Chinese. Yeah, um, actually we divide four categories and first thing we are going to talk about speeding on the street 
And what is the spelling, <laughs> Sanji? Well, um, um, well, the definition of spitting is forcibly ejecting saliva, but um, in most countries, this is really considered rude and even a social taboo because it can transmit transmit um, diseases. And so I have searched uh, online for countries that ban. Um, ban spitting, and I have found something interesting. Um, I didn't know that Korea banned um, spitting, and um, uh, the penalty is 30 US dollars. That is about 3만 원. And then Singapore, which has a higher, um, you would have to pay 1,000 Singapore dollars, which is about 840 US dollars and then in Spain it's 750 euros which is about 100 um, um, which is 1000 US dollars so you can see how much different it is in Korea and in some part of other countries. I just wanted so, to confirm what you said. You said that spitting okay. in Korea is a crime and you would have to pay about $30 some on one if you spit in public? Yes, there is a law but um, I actually I've never heard anyone say that they were caught um, you know fined for spitting so and when I asked everyone in class they said they didn't know so I don't think anyone knows this law and um, I'm just worried. And I have a question for everyone. Do you think this law, this regulation, should be um, conducted regular, uh, regularly? Um, or do you think it's just a habit and it's okay? Uh, I think it's quite a big problem. Because I posted on my blog, there is an article on the content. <laughs> content is that uh, a person who lived in Australia for a long time uh, visited to Korea, and while uh, he was in he was in Korea, and he uh, it's, it's time to go back to Australia, and there in Korea there is a cousin of him and. The cousin asked to him that what is the most hardest hardest thing to stand in Korea, and the Australian said, uh, uh, "Spitting on the road uh, in Korea is the hardest thing to stand." So I think it's uh, related about not only clinic cleanliness but also uh, about uh, image of our Korea nation's image. I think it can devalue our Korea nation's image. Actually, I found on, on the internet our Korea uh, nation's image ranking is about 27. It's really lower in OECD. Yeah, so I think it's quite a big problem. And my question is, <laughs> Is it okay to leave people spitting on the roads, uh, or should it ban? I have a question, not just about the legal part, but about the ethical part or the behavior part. Like, what do your parents and teachers tell you about spitting, and when you're growing up? Do not spit on the road. They always said said to me. But uh, most people think it's not quite big problem. They do. They don't think this problem seriously, especially Korean. Just my opinion. Uh, one of the things that I've noticed while I was in China for a very long time is that um, the Chinese people don't really. Um, think of spitting that much, but um, 
they spit all the time, and I think it's kind of a hygienic thing. They, I think they think um, that spitting, spitting out is much healthier than you know keeping it inside. So I don't know. In my opinion, uh, the most of the people who spit on the road are smoker, I guess. <coughs> and then, um, but most of smoker are spitting at the smoking area. But in Korea, there are too too few smoking area, I guess. So, if governments increase the smoking area, uh, the people who are spraying on the road will be decreased, I guess. <laughs> uh, I have a question to Hansel. Uh, I know you are also a smoker, and <laughs> do you spit on the road? Me? I don't yeah. smoke. <laughs> I don't smoke. <laughs> I quit. I uh, quit. Oh. Yes. Uh, I I I saw you. <laughs> I saw you on the. Uh, I just I just want to, you know, like I just standing the cigarette area, uh, smoking smoking area. But I didn't smoke. I think that's my mis misconception. <laughs> what what about what about, uh, Mr. Ju? Uh, Ju is. Or is a smoker? Uh, I try to, I try to don't spit on the road, but, uh, but if there were smoking area, yeah, I I, I spit that there, yeah, just at all. I have an opinion. Okay. Okay. Uh, I was in Japan for uh, about one year, and everybody, mm, yeah, it's quite a lot of smokers in there. And but nobody is smoke. Uh, nobody is spitting on the. What is that? Chetori. Mm. What is chetori? Ash tray. Ash tray. Ash tray. Nobody is spitting on there, and nobody is spitting on the road. So there's a sentence. There's a word that if you can see someone is spitting on the ash tray, that is Korean. So a Japanese. Our Israelis are saying that, so I don't think it's about smokers. Not I don't think smokers have to spit. If you smoke, it you can you just spit. I don't think it makes sense. But it's because since everyone Korean, everyone is spitting on the road, and so other. Other people will think about that. Oh, it's okay to spit on the road because I'm smoking. Like because he is smoking. Oh, it's okay to spit in, on the road. It's a natural, natural thing. I think they think. I think so. It's about <laughs> so <laughs> problem of thought. All right. Okay, interesting, because our next topic is about smoking, um, and we want to talk about smoking in public. Mm -hmm. um, because of many health regulations, workplaces, um, you know, public restaurants, bars, everywhere are, like, banned from smoking, and more and more people are forced to go outside um, in the streets, and people who pass... Um, doorways or roads, whatever, um, are exposed to secondhand smoke. And as you all know, secondhand smoke can lead to lung cancer, asthma, and other asthma. diseases. So um, do you have any solution <laughs> to solving this problem? Like, this is also connected to spitting and, yeah. Yeah, oh, and I, I also I, want to ask um, anyone who's like everyone who smokes, 
why did why did you choose to smoke in the first place? Like I don't know. Why did you answer? <laughs> Hansor is heavy. I heard. Sorry? Are you, I heard you're a heavy smoker. I'm, I'm not. Oh. No. I saw Chanan is smoking. Yes. Yeah, he's always smoking. He's always smoking. He always does. He's a freak. Mm. I quit from now on. <laughs> you're kidding. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to quit smoke. Why did you start in the first place? Because I think most people start with curiosity. Mm. There's no reason. <laughs> that became a habit. And these days, I think most people will quit smoking because of the price. Price is ah, higher right. next year. Yeah, actually, uh, most people know uh, do not smoke in the public area or on the streets, but I know that most people ignore the law because I I think, in my opinion, I think that the degree of penalty is not high enough. Uh, I found on the internet, uh, and when he first caught caught for the police, we have to pay omanon. Then second, uh, twice, is same omanon. And third is also same omanon. Uh, so I think if we deal with uh, the smokers, we have to uh, increase our penalty. That's my opinion. And I heard Quantec is called for Samyon. Samyon is. Can you can you tell me experience? Um, <clears throat> uh, it wasn't my fault, I guess. Um, it, it, it's not because of the smoking, just I threw the trash on the road. Uh, it, it was the problem. And what? Government banned the smoking from the uh, in, inside the. Yeah. For example, but uh, there is no way to smoke inside of a building, yeah. so most of smokers are going out. Yeah, uh, in Japan, my most of my friends are blame the smoker who smoking who is smoking inside because. Uh, in Jap and Japan government banned the s street smoking, though. Mm. But they agreed. Uh, they agreed that uh, inside the smoking is okay. So most of restaurants there are lo there are lots of smoker. So uh, non smoker also be harmed from the smoker. So they say, uh, my, my Japanese friend said, but smoking on the road is better than um, inside the smoking. Mm. Mm. <coughs> mm -hmm. yeah, actually, it's true that governments now ban smoking on the streets, in, especially in Gangnam or elsewhere. Our smokers, Shin Sado. Shin Sado. Shin Sado, yeah. Our smokers' right is disappeared. There is no right to smoke. But they are yeah. still smoking, aren't they? Yeah, but I don't know why they smoke on the street. <laughs> <laughs> you just smoke on the street. You, you, you. I smoke with you, Grace. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not a smoker. Uh, okay. I think it's all my first words, yeah. Yeah, okay, uh, then we'll go uh, uh, talk about our next topic. Our next topic is about PDA. You guys know about PDA? What's the PDA? I don't know what the PDA is. 
어, PDA is public display. PDA is song title. <웃음> no. The song title. John Legend. Song title. PDA. Right? <웃음> I'm sorry. Keep going. <웃음> my, my breaking. <웃음> uh, PDA public display of affection is uh, for a, uh, is kind of hug and kiss. On the in the public area, oh. privately or in the streets, and we can see so many people, especially young people, kiss and hug in the street. Uh, I think uh, it's not a big problem, but it can be a problem because some people feel uncomfortable feelings. Like I you. About PD, no, no, not me. <laughs> <laughs> not kind of jealous people. <laughs> and, uh, my question is, uh, is it okay to express your affection in the public area and to what extent is allowed in the public area? Songji, can you answer my question? Okay. Um... Well, I, I think um, it really depends on what country you're in. Because um, I saw a poster online um, from, this poster was um, in Iran, I think, one of the Middle East um and they had a poster that banned people from kissing on the streets and holding hands. So maybe this is normal for them, but for me, it feels very weird. So it definitely um, depends on the country. And um, I think there are some rules, you know, to what we shouldn't do, like... Um, um, I, I I have some rules that I made up, um, and one of them is like you do not want to do like a long drawn out kiss in public, which is I would say more than four seconds. Mm. So if you are kissing someone in public, um, like as a greeting or saying goodbye, that's cool. But if you are um, yeah, so, and the next one is to not touch someone in their private area in public. Um, <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> Too um, specific. <laughs> yeah, don't touch, don't touch someone's butt, um, breast, and stuff like that. So, because this really makes people, the viewers, really uncomfortable, and you can just see that you lack general etiquette skills. Um, so what do you guys think about PDA? What is too much PDA and what, what do you think? Uh, Grace, I know you have a boyfriend <laughs> and have you had this kind of experience and do you feel guilty? We don't, we don't do skinship in public area. He doesn't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like it. And he will just say to I, I was asked, he was asked from my friend that why don't you kiss and I, why don't you hug, why don't you hold hands in outside, outside and he will say don't worry about it, we'll do it by ourselves in our <laughs> private space. So I think that's cool <laughs> and I thought mm, PDA is kind of, yes, yeah, just like what Songji said, uh, like just a goodbye kiss or a greeting as a kiss as a greeting and uh, holding hands. That's okay because there are a couple and I don't I know they want to like express their feelings for each other, but it's uncomfortable when it's like when's the space we are stopped in, like in subway. We have to see them. <laughs> like we have no choice but to see them. So like subway, or, like in, it is kind of public area, but we are all stopped. So we have no choice. So I hope P 
people would not do skinship in just holding hands, it's okay, but not just the deep kiss, French kisses in some way, but just the path, path we're passing by, it's okay, I think, because I'm going to go walk by them. What matters? Okay. Alright, can I ask to Professor Jeff? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. With our is kind of sharing love with your wife in the uh, out outside or <laughs> sharing. Oh my god! Is it okay to ask you? Uh, it, it, uh, yes, it's it's fine to ask me. Uh, sharing love is a, <laughs> is a little too close, close to another term. Like um, but but sex. no, I'm I'm comfortable being affectionate in public. Um, yeah. We certainly hold hands in public, uh, but I'm also aware, as as part of an international couple in Korea, that people observe a little bit more, and it's changed. But certainly, 15 years ago, my wife was more uncomfortable with PDA because it's a foreigner. Mm. Um, but that said, my general opinion is, you know, you don't want to make other people comfortable. Where you yeah. draw that line is different. We have Maria in the chat room from Argentina, uh, and I was chatting with her. And you know, Argentinians are very demonstrative people. They they kiss on the cheek, mm -hmm. hello and goodbye all the time. And I think it's a society that's much more comfortable with that. When I first came to Korea 20 years ago, it was kind of a big deal to you know hold hands or put your arm around someone. Um, um, the four second rule, I've never thought about the four second rule. I'm curious how Sungji came up with four <laughs> seconds, what kind of research went into that. <laughs> oh, um, because <laughs> I remember um, when I was really young, I was walking like down the streets and I saw a couple kissing and everyone was just looking. They were like surrounded by people and some people were just taking photos and people, you know, talking and I was so uncomfortable, I just ran ran away. Yeah. And you know, I mean certainly America I think is more open toward PDA, but still people get uncomfortable. You know, if people start French kissing or touching inappropriately, it, it makes people uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. So there's a cultural dis aspect, but I think just being <laughs> considerate of those around you is important. Yes. And maybe it depends on who you're around. Maybe you would behave differently in front of, you know, if there's older people than if you're around your friends. I wonder how Q is thinking about PDA because he, he, <laughs> love is everything for him, everything to him. Yeah, uh, I think. Love is very gorgeous and very <laughs> precious thing. Yeah. So um, I, I think PDA is okay because uh, love each other and hugging and kissing. Oh, uh, maybe everyone wants that, and I I want to. Yes. Yeah, so uh, I don't mind, and I'm I'm also always have PDA. PDA, oh, I always did, yeah, <laughs> hugging and kissing. Hmm. How how deeply you kiss on the road? Oh, uh, not not deeply because uh, I just want show show them, yeah. I don't want show them. I just want <laughs> kiss or hug in room, yeah, <laughs> on on the bed. <laughs> Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Okay, let's <laughs> okay. go to the next topic. Next topic. Yeah. <laughs> next topic is eating eating food in the public transportation, especially bus or train or taxi. And we can see some people uh, eating uh, smelly food like kim kimchi or kind of that, and uh, eating food in the vehicles. Uh, some some people do not care about that problem, but uh, most people with frowning or 
staring or gazing at him or she because it smells. It uh, it makes odor. Akchi. So I want to ask you guys that is it okay to eating food in the public transportation? And there is one more question: Is it okay to uh, eating food in the public transportation, even if food is not smelly? So, uh, what is your opinion, uh, Yeonggyu? Yeah, <laughs> I think not smelly food is okay. Okay. Yeah, but smelly food is I'm really. Uh, I think it's not good because I also want to eat that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. and and maybe uh, I don't I don't like many foods like I don't like chuotang or I don't like mo chongguk장 or I don't like kimchi. I yes, think you so have to explain what the Cheonggukjang and Chuotang is because yeah, uh, right? Like uh, smelly food, I I don't like that. So, <laughs> uh, when well may, maybe maybe not, but um, if they eat in subway or public things, uh, I'm really feel so bad. But not smelly food is okay, I think. Yeah, I, I actually agree with you. Uh, last summer, uh, I've experienced similar things in the bus. I took the bus and uh, some woman dropped the kimchi, smelly kimchi, and just most guys gaze, gaze, gaze at her, but uh, one man is yelling at, was yelling at her. I don't know the reason why, but after I know the reason, the reason is that uh, he is on way to meet very important person. He was, uh, he's actually was a salesman, but his house was full of kimchi smell, so he felt he he felt really angry, and he <coughs> was yelling at her. So in that situation, it can be a problem, I think. Oh, how about you, Sanji? Me? Yeah, you. Um. Uh. Well. Um. In China, yeah, China. I've known, like in China, I see many people eating on the bus. Um. I take I take the bus like every day when I go to school, so I notice people like drinking or eating something and I'm okay with it because I get used to it but then when I came to Korea um, for college I noticed that like no one is eating on the streets or even on the bus subway so I asked my friend you know is it, do you have to like pay a fine if you eat and she said it's um, a cult like a custom like cultural thing that if you eat, um, if you don't eat on, on like the dinner table, um, your luck is going to fall down. Mm. I don't know. Um, she told me that Korea has a say, saying. So maybe um, people are not used to eating on the bus um, and on the subway. But I'm okay with it. I don't. I don't really care, unless you like need a napkin, um, chopstick, a fork, and a knife. I think it's okay, and it's not smelly. Oh, uh, Ahyun, do you agree? Eating food in the public transportation. You're mute. You're muted, Ashan. While Ashan uh, is on, uh, okay, you okay. got you. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> well, I sometimes 
do that. <laughs> like, not real food, but small dishes or foods. Like if I or chocolate thing. If I feel really hungry or if I need some sweet things, I do. So I don't that care, but I didn't really don't say it except me. <laughs> yeah. And you know, I wonder about the circumstances. Maria in the chat room from Argentina is saying that you know where she lives, people usually go home for lunch, and the commu commuting distances are not very far, so that there's really not as much need to eat in public. And that compared to Korean food, Argentinian food is probably pretty bland, uh, so the smelly issue isn't quite as strong. Um, but you know, the fact is, some of us commute an hour and a half to university and are very busy and don't have time to go home or to, for lunch or go to a restaurant. So perhaps circumstance is part of the problem. Hello, Jayu. Hi, Jeff and you guys. <laughs> Hi. All right, any, uh, anything else you want to say this or I believe you have one more issue of public behavior to address. Um, was it? No, this, um, we don't have anything else, just four. Yeah, this is the final question. Because yeah, I saw in your blog post you were talking about uh, phone calling or texting without uh, a headset. <laughs> That's Songji's mistake. Uh. <laughs> um, uh, we weren't sure about that, so I just posted it on the blog. But um, we're not going to talk about it today. Okay. Because I was ready to complain about the ajashis, the older, and it's like whenever you go hiking or eating day or somewhere, and you have like these nice older people who are just not using earbuds and using some old radio listening to oh, pro mm -hmm. or some old music. Oh. <laughs> and they turn the volume up when it's really crowded. Yeah, hard to enjoy nature. Actually, Sungji want to do a uh, uh, subject about cell phone. But I said to her that it's enough. Uh, yeah. yeah. And this has been enough time, more than enough time. Uh, any yeah. final thoughts on, on this topic from anybody? All right. Well, we'll be keeping, <laughs> an, we'll be keeping an eye on your public behavior. Han Sol and Chang Han will be checking to see if you're smoking or spitting in public. <laughs> You know, I have to admit, like the spitting thing for me, it, it was an adjustment. It's it's much more common here than it is in America, um, yeah. and the parts that bother me are the sound, oh. which I oh. won't do on air, and the location. Like, please don't do it where I'm going to walk. Do it on the side. Do it on a plant. <laughs> and, and what really kills me when I see people doing it inside sometimes, that... that you mean not, inside the building? In the hallway, yes. On the stairways. What a bad mistake it is. Indeed. <laughs> what if someone trips over? Oh, or slips on it, yeah. Hmm. Or just steps on it. Anyway, on that lovely note, <laughs> let us change topics to <laughs> issues with uh, Quantic and Han Sol. Tell us about yourselves and your topic, please. Uh, oh, oh, sorry, sir. Uh, Jeff, can I yes. move to a uh, good Wi-Fi yes, connection, please. please? Can I find? Yes. Yeah, thank you. And while you do that, we can let people know we have a couple more openings in the Hangout. If anyone's been waiting to get in, uh, now's your time. You can sneak in. Oh, shit. I'll be back in all right, so Han Sol, you seem ready to go. Quantec looks like he left his phone somewhere and oh. ran away. Hmm? Oh, Quantec, are you there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm here. All right, over to you guys. Are you in? Are you in here, Han Sol? Yes. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Start. Yes, please. Okay. Oh, I, uh, can I re-log in the this phone call? Cause yes. my phone is a little strange. Okay, good idea. Yeah, I'm sorry.
All right, we can wait a moment for him to join while we're waiting. Yeah, sure. Cute outfit. Cute. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. You too. Yeah, now it's okay. Okay, you look good. All yeah. right, gentlemen, over Can't to start. you. Yeah. Hi, my <laughs> name is Quantec, and this is my partner. Ah, hello. This is Han. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We are going to talk about... Uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you. We are going to talk about uh, uh, talk about that. The Korean are insensitive to safety. And this year, there are lots of safety accidents in Korea, such as uh, St. Ferris named Sewer, and uh, Hangyo accident and yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> my bad. Oh my god. Why? Is in the cafe? I don't know. We we lost Quantec there. Han Sol, do you want to take over for now? <gasps> oh my turn yet. <laughs> 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 Can I start? Well, while we're waiting for Quantech to come back yeah. in, as I was looking okay. through this blog post, the... Uh, he's here. Oh, he's All right, right Quantech. Please okay. I'm sorry, but my, my phone doesn't work very well. <laughs> uh, are, you, uh, are you PC bound? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm, I'm in cafe. Oh, cafe. Yeah. I'll keep going. Please. I'm sorry. Yeah. Anyway, even if Korean have had uh, like this accident, uh, Korean government and people don't try to resolve their problem. And mm. Mm, and what? <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> uh, anyway, I will introduce two accidents, and I want to talk about together this problem. Yeah. Yes. Hansel? So, so I'm going to talk about my first topic. It is about Mauna, uh, Mauna Resort Resorts. Gym collapses. You know, is the early early in this year, our BUF nine freshman students were died by the gym collapse. And then, I think it's a uh, human error accident. So. Mm. Actually, we could uh, prevent uh, those kinds of accidents, but we did. I mean, we couldn't because of, we don't have any like uh, awareness and then uh, focus on the safety uh, frigidity. So, so I think there are three uh, accident cause uh, cause accident. First of all, uh, Mauna Resort didn't use enough bolt to hold the pillar and the roof. And then they didn't follow the government standard. And second of all, resort operator, operator didn't clean the snow properly. So the, when they snow a lot, they, the roof and pillar couldn't hold up the heavy snows. And lastly, rescue worker couldn't, I mean, they were hard to get there because of the illegal parking uh, park illegally parking cars by reporters. Did you hear what I say? Yeah, I'm already with you. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 yeah, I was uh, hot. <clears throat> so I, yeah. Actually, I have a question. Question, question. To you guys, to our class and uh, I mean, and any of yeah. Do you guys do you guys okay. do you guys feel safe in Korea? Basically can, can I say about that? Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, uh actually I'm I'm in there, Mauna Resort. Yeah. Oh yeah. And, and I remember <laughs> that situation. Yeah, so uh, there is very snow day snow day and uh, we we feel a little 
that is very in Ryomada. That is dangerous. very danger. Yeah, dangerous be because there have many snow on the roof. So we uh, we talk about that can can clearly can clear snow, but they don't do that. So we you talked about that before anything happened. Yeah, we maybe we 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 think it very dangerous in on on the roof snow. Yeah, so we talk about in lizard people, but they not now can't clear that. So we just uh, go ahead in festival in there. <sighs> so not not only me, maybe my friends also uh, little think about it is dang that is dangerous place. Yeah, but we cannot. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. accident. Yeah. Yeah. In my opinion, uh, I guess Korea is isn't safe, cause uh, even they had uh, like the what Mauna accident, they didn't try to enhance their building uh, the law related with build construction, and after the they permit permit the building um, construction, they didn't check, and after then they don't try to check the building again. And as you as you said, Q, uh, if they clear the uh, snow, I think um, it will you it doesn't be a Excellent, I guess. Yeah. Mm. Oh, but I think uh, I think Korea is not safety, but uh, other country also not safety. I think. Um, so we just prevent accident uh, on. Cicero. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's right. The another country has uh, have uh, lots of uh, national disaster, but Korea doesn't have. But it it was the just mistaking from the Pujri. Mm -hmm. So mm, people have to think about mm, this problem. Can you tell me what country has uh, um, properly have a um, prevent way? Prevent way. Um, what country? I guess. Has? Yeah. I guess. Uh, I don't know, but most of country has the uh, rule, and I heard from my Japanese friend in Japan. They have, uh, and there are lots of. Earthquake, so they have to they have to uh, keep the government standard, and they also and the constructor corporation also keep the rule. So they don't have a uh, I don't know this word, but on on perfect construction, 부실공사. <laughs> Yeah, th that is not usual, except China, <laughs> I guess. And uh, today I saw uh, a news about uh, the Lotte World, the mm. second Lotte World Aquarium has a uh, has a uh, uh, what's it? Murise. <laughs> Auto. Leaking. <laughs> Any, anyway, it's hard to say, but has a mm. crack. Ah, crack. Mm. Crack on the uh, between glass. the windows. Oh, glass. Mm. <laughs> so. 
I guess <laughs> Korean company, uh, Korean government must enhance the standard of construction. Mm. Mm. Contact, you have a question to... No? What then? question? To me? <laughs> Yeah, you, you have to question them. Uh, ah, yeah. Uh, Hansol, what do you think about this problem? How to control? How to control? I, I wanna talk with you. <laughs> with me? Yeah. No, no, with them. Yeah. Ah, really? Yeah. You're supposed yeah, to ask question it. with them, not me. Yeah. And, and, and we we actually have a question or a comment from the chat room. Uh, Maria is saying, you know, that safety depends on proper law and proper law enforcement. And a lot of times the laws are there, but they're not enforced strictly. For example, we heard that there's a law against spitting in Korea, but I don't think anyone has ever been charged with that, yes. or not often. Um, no, yeah. Do you think the government is enforcing laws? Are they getting stricter? Should they get stricter? They should. <laughs> yeah, it is. I think it's the matter of um, the way when when accident happened. After, uh, I think our government, Korean government, is kind of. Strange, weird. I think they have to be more strict, and they have to be more bold on the accidents. I think so. I can see when America has a problem, like has a, an accident when in their country. I feel like their government <coughs> is really trying to protect their their citizens their people. I can feel that and I don't feel that kind of feeling in Korea. Like there I when accident has happened, I can <coughs> I feel like government like the people on the high high position they just blame each other. I didn't do anything wrong. You did like you did you did whose fault is it? But it doesn't matter who's it does matter, but in that moment, on in that time, it doesn't matter. So we have to be more, more. We have to be more quick about doing action. But I don't think we were doing like that. So I think government has to be more strict and bold and be more faster. I think. And I have a question mm -hmm. uh, to professor. Oh, uh, that, do you feel safe in Korea? Um, the time when I feel least safe is when I'm in a car. Uh -oh. uh, you know, I it's it. I I do think the answer is stricter enforcement. I think if people start getting fined and losing money for breaking rules that behavior will change. Mm. Dry, you know, Korea has a very high traffic accident death rate. And when I'm in a car, I understand why. People don't follow the rules and they don't get, you know, they don't, they're, they're not enforced. I, I want more policemen on the road and when someone breaks a traffic rule, stop them and charge them $100, mm. and then they will stop doing it. Same thing with people who load ferries with too much cargo and break the rules, charge them. And I think part of the problem is that Korea developed so quickly and so far that there was this bali bali, we must, you know, very quick culture, and it's okay to take shortcuts. It's okay if we don't follow the rules, we must develop, we must grow. And I feel like, okay, now Korea has grown <laughs> and now it is developed and so now slow down a little bit and please follow some rules a little more carefully. But I, overall I, yes I feel safe. I yeah, think I, 
okay. <laughs> you go. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I think like in Korea, um, a lot of celebrities are getting caught from, like, um, driving and then like drunk when they're driving and then. So I think um, Koreans tend to think that it's not going to happen to me. Like they have the feeling that. It's not going to happen to them, and they don't really do anything about it. And then when it does happen, they don't know what to do. Right. So I've, right. Um, I think I've experienced um, situations that um, when someone was drunk, they tried to drive, and they were like, okay, um, I'm not that drunk. Um, it's a very short distance, I can drive, it's okay, I won't get caught, you know. Um, and I've seen many people trying to get away with it, and I think it's very similar to um, uh, Sewol home, the um, boat <coughs> and everything, about everything and safety. Yes, we have to change our mind, so, mm. yeah. So it's the first step. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think the officers have to be more strict as well because in Korea, I feel like officers like police officers and like anything, uh, anyone who works for the government is very soft, I feel. Like, and if they're soft to somebody who <coughs> has lots of money and who's a foreigner. I heard from one professor, not Jeff, but I heard from one professor that when he had a car accident and when he uh, didn't didn't he when he just passed by the red light, uh, officers, the police officer stopped him and he saw the officers saw him and oh you're a foreigner and he couldn't. He could speak English, but he couldn't speak very well. But he still could, like, give him a ticket or do something like that. But he, the officer, said to him that, "Oh, it's okay. You can go. You can go." And and the worst thing is, he asked the officer asked him for a, a name, Myungham name card, so he his child can get a like like uh uh quiet what is that uh, boy. Boy. Mm? from him so I, I was very shocked and he said it happened like four or five times in Korea so so I think officers have to be more strict to everyone not not only to the poor people, but only to the people who have lots of money and who are foreigner. What? It doesn't matter to be Korean and foreigner. It's a it's the law, and it is in Korea. We are in Korea, so we have to follow the rule. But it's strange. I feel that all the time, police officers are very kind to foreigner and who has lots of money. So I think they have to be strict to everyone. Just follow the rule. Wow. Are you angry? <laughs> no. <laughs> too, too, she's too serious. No, just just I feel like uh, that's, I love my country, but I feel like I don't want to raise my child in Korea. Can you, oh. Sochan does mention something really worth considering is it Chihan? G Chihan. The Chihan. Oh, Chihan. Oh, Chihan. No, which is just general safety mm. which is I feel much safer in that way in Korea. Mm, right. It from is from true. top of the world. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Just don't make me get in a car. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, any other thoughts on, on this issue? Yeah, uh, we have one more topic. So I'm going to the next question. And uh, our second topic is about 
、uh, as Jisan said, the drunk drinking and、uh, drunk driving. Uh, yeah. Mm. Uh, the, uh, the alcohol, uh, even the driver d r i n k a small amount, a small amount of alcohol,、uh, it makes It makes drivers sleepy and hard to concentrate their driving. So, and not only the,、um, it makes uh, uh, this behavior not only injure themselves, but also、uh, they threaten others. So, I guess it's one of the most dangerous b e h a v i o r but most of Koreans don't think it's. Uh, uh, they don't afraid it. So, mm, mm, I guess uh, in Japan, uh, uh, one of my friends in Japan said. The, she really afraid the drink,、uh, drunk driving. So she h a v e never tried to that behavior then mm, because uh, the, uh, if someone b e catched by cop,、uh, they are going to the jail right away. And then they have to, the, what, the drunk driver, they have to quit a job. They, they also lose a job. So it's very heavy punishment, I guess. So、um, we have、uh, to decrease the rate of.、Uh, Late of the drunk driving, governments have to in, enhance the punishment and law related with the drunk driving. Hello?、Sorry. Was there a question? <laughs> What's the question? Hello? What was the question, q u a n t e Oh, that's what I'm saying. q u a n t e what was the question? Oh, <laughs>、uh, yep.、Yeah. I will say again. <laughs> don't, don't say everything, <laughs> just, just the question. Like we heard you talking,、uh, about, but we don't know、yep. what the question is. Yeah. And how can you reduce the rate of drunk driving? How can? Just control ourselves. <laughs> Jail is、uh, difficult. There's nothing to do. Yeah. Definitely cash answer. I have、uh, an idea. Death、mm-hmm. penalty? It's <laughs> good. <laughs> 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 Execution. <laughs> you could not sell alcohol after maybe dark. Sorry? Dark? You, can, you could like, ban people selling alcohol after maybe 10 p.m. or something. No, it's bad. It's bad. n o No, no. I think, I think I if, we, uh, if we have, if the,、uh, if the police have more and more, so many like crackdowns. Yeah. Um, do, 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 um, As soon as we notice them, then drivers will, will be afraid of that. Then they will say,、oh, Why don't we drive tonight? Even though we are drunk, why don't we drive tonight? No, they, 
they will say no, no, they're they're doing crackdown everywhere, so we can't, we can just check taxi or something. So, so because they will think they are doing drunk driving because they're not under the control. They're, the police officers are not doing crackdown, so they will, they just think <coughs> like it's okay to drunk to do drunk driving. Isn't it? But what? Yeah. yeah. I'm very angry tonight. <laughs> 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 but we have a little policeman, yeah. Oh. What oh. then what about government just takes over? Yeah. Uh, uh, I think I have uh, one solution. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, how about making some street car? Street car is kind of uh, when we drunken much, and we, we try we'll try to open the car, and then the car. <laughs> Just we have to use um, daily region and <laughs> control ourselves and. <laughs> and and we have to. Panic. <laughs> Yeah, we are so funny tonight. Right? Uh, I think it's very good solution making some street car. What is street car? Street Sorry? people. Street, street people. car? So street so car. I just, so I just named. I uh, haven't heard that. So like you have it? to take in order to drive the test. You have to pass. In order to drive the car, you have to pass some test to make sure you're not too drunk. Yeah, or uh, if if you if you're really drunk, then do car door is closed automatically. <laughs> then you can't enter the enter your car. So the uh, so, uh, uh, okay. to your home on foot or waiting. Nobody will buy the car. Yeah. Some some guy has a car. I've never heard of that. guy. <laughs> he he has an extra. He had but, accident but, but, last time. <laughs> yeah. But, but he can reduce the rate. You can tell him then enter the same song and make the car for us, please. Uh, well, my major is... Vietnamese. <laughs> I can't enter the same song. <laughs> you can. You still can. Uh, thank you. Very thank you. <laughs> You're smart. I'm curious, do you know what the drunk driving laws are in Korea? What is the alcohol limit and what are the penalties? What, I, right. don't, I don't know exactly. I looked it uh, up. I, I, I thought that... Uh, <laughs> you pay for 500만 on to police station. One of my cousin called for police and he told me to pay for... Your cousin? 500만 on? So my, my friend, my friend paid one hundred thirty baht one, maybe. So, pay some cheap one. It's very yeah, cheap. One. <laughs> so penalty. Cheap? <laughs> yeah. Did he lose his license? Yeah, yeah, lose license oh. or so. But it's okay to drink uh uh like couple of beers, like one one cup of beers. To and can they can drive in Australia one beer in one hour, so they can drink two beers in two hours, and they can drive still drive in Australia. So like, can we drive? Can we drive if even though we drink like one beer but or it depends never? how big you are. The blood alcohol limit is point zero five percent. Which is pretty low in America. In some states, it's 0.1 percent, so it's it's half of that. So oh. depending on how much you weigh, mm. it for, especially for women, one beer might put you over mm. uh, the limit. But certainly, you know, that's that's a couple shots of soju, and you're mm. over the limit. And the fine is jail for up to two years and a fine of up to three million won. Sambek man won. Mm -hmm. So the rules are there. Those are pretty strict rules. But it's too uh, cheap, isn't it? But they're not enforced very often or mm. often enough. And the other thing worth mentioning is that Korea makes it easy 
to um, be drunk and get home. Taxis are not expensive. You can call an Ajashi to come and drive your car home for reasonable prices. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just Imam. All right, anything else on this topic or anything else? No, just I don't have enough but battery. Oh. I I only have a seven percent, so <laughs> I have to keep as soon as possible. No. Uh, All right, any final words, uh, Han? I'm sorry. I'm okay. Oh. Okay. Mm. Yeah, say something mm. wise and inspirational. <laughs> it's so cold, and you don't you don't say I don't care. Oh, all of the question. Any any <laughs> final <laughs> comment? A uh, comment? Oh, sir, I have a question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do we have an after party? Oh, oh, after, oh, oh. after class party. I I don't know. That's up to you. Oh, uh, oh, uh, he, he doesn't know. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. And we have party. We have to. Yeah, we will have party. Oh, oh. 